What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got some Digimon to be talking about, including a nice new level 6 Grand Dracomon. But we're not there yet, ladies and gentlemen. We need to start with some slightly smaller Digimon. Translations from the lovely folks at Ensan Gaming and the lovely folks over at DigimonCard.dev. And it seems like a good place to start might be the lovely level 3 Gazimon X Antibody. Now what we got here is a free cost to play normally, zero cost to Digimon, free frowls and power. It's not bad actually. When we've got a skill, we usually have a 2000 power Digimon. So 3000 is not too bad. You get a little bit of a power bump there. That ain't terrible. And then we've got the usual thing. You can Digivolve for zero cost from Gazimon, which is quite nice. And that's just the usual thing, right? When you Digivolving up, you get to draw a card. Or really, you know, replace that card in your hand, which is fine. Means you can take advantage of extra inheritable skills. We've never had a Gazimon with inheritable skills. We've had one purple Gazimon. It's the one from BT3. Does stop your opponent gaining memory other than by tamer effects, which is clearly brilliant. But also by the same token, it's um, it's not what I'm dying to evolve out of to get inheritable skills. I, I don't think that's an unfair thing to say. So, we've got that, and you never know, we might get more in the future, and those ones might end up being a little bit more exciting. But at least we've got the options. We've also then got here a rather lovely skill. When you're digivolving, you trash three cards from the top of your deck. Cool. And let's not forget, firstly, purple plays from the trash. That's just something they do. It's something they've been doing for a while now. So, you know what? Yeah. This ain't bad, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't bad at all. It's a kind of thing you want to be doing in purple, and now you can. Plus, of course, we've lately started to get a bunch of Digimon that actually gain advantages if they're trash from the deck. So, yesterday, a couple of days ago, I showed you that new promo Wizardmon, and when that card is trash from your deck, you gain a memory. So, you know what? Yeah, that's not bad, ladies and gentlemen. That's not bad. So you want to be playing for the trash in purple. You've got Digimon now, and Wizardmon's not the only one. It's just an example. But we've got a bunch of Digimon that have skills that activate when they're trash from the deck. So having something like this that can trash three cards when you Digivolve. I mean, if we compare this to Impmon, which is one we've been using for a while, Impmon also trashes three cards from the top of your deck, but that's on deletion, not when Digivolving. If you want to be filling up your trash nice and quickly, Gazamon is a fantastic option. Sticking in level three, we've got Drachmon here. Three cost to play normally, zero cost to Digivolve, 1,000 power. That is very, very, very low. So to be perfectly honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to need something here. We're going to need something a little bit more, um, a little bit more, because 1,000 power is absolutely terrible. But when you play, you reveal the top three cards of your deck, and then you can add one card with Undead or Dark Animal in its traits to your hand, and trash one card with Undead or Dark Animal in its traits, and then the rest of the cards go to the bottom of your deck in any order. Cool. So then, of course, the question is, well, what have we got in terms of Undead and Dark Animal? Well, the Myotismon line. Myotismon kind of works here. Uh, Skull Greymon is another quite nice example. So, yeah, in terms of Undead, we've got some decent options. Skull Greymon and Myotismon, they are not the only ones. Let's be perfectly clear. But they're options. And then in terms of Dark Animal, we've got, well, frankly, a bunch we're going to be talking about in this video. But we've also got things like Cerberamon. Could work. And, of course, Venomiotismon. Because it would be weird if Myotismon counted for this, but Venomiotismon didn't. That, that would be a very strange turn of events. It, it would make me feel a little bit weird, if I'm honest with you. But now we don't need to worry, and everything is rather lovely again. So that's kind of cool. So this is really good, right? If you're playing this, again, you want to be drawing these cards, because obviously, but you also want to be trashing them because you're purple. This is nice. Plus an inheritable skill when you are attacking. This Digimon may Digivolve into a Digimon card with Undead or Dark Animal in its traits from your trash by paying its cost. You're not ignoring the cost. You're not ignoring Digivolution requirements. 
Both of those are very important. But you're evolving from the trash. Which means rather than having to have the right card in your hand, which we all know is not always a given, you can just, well, trash a bunch of cards, which Purple love doing, we've even seen it already in this video, then play from the trash, and hey, this would be a nice way to play from the trash. And actually, we started on level 3, we skipped the Pagumon, the new Digitama. Maybe we should have a little bit of a chat about Pagumon while we're here. So what we've got here is a Digitama, one inheritable skill. When attacking, you may trash one card from your hand. If you do, this Digimon gains 1,000 power until the end of the turn. Cool. I mean, at the end of the day, right, a lot of Digitama give you an extra 1,000 power. Having an extra 1,000 power is not terribly impressive. It's very standard. It's what we expect from Digitama. But if you're telling me I can get an extra 1,000 power while trashing a card from my hand, when I'm playing a color in purple that really wants to fill up my trash, and when I'm trashing from my hand rather than the deck, I'm not just getting cards in the trash, I am getting the right cards in the trash. I am choosing which cards end up hitting the trash, and that is a very different thing. Yeah. It's not going to be for every deck like so many Digitama. It's only going to be for certain decks. But if you're playing a kind of deck that wants to be trashing cards and wants to be playing from the trash, as an awful lot of purple decks do, brilliant. Absolutely love it, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely love it. So now if we actually do move up into level fours, we've got Sang Loopmon. And 5 cost play normally, 2 cost to involve 5,000 power, all fairly standard for a level 4. And when you are attacking, you can digivolve this Digimon into a Digimon card with Undead or Dark Animal in its traits from your trash for its Digivolution cost. So we've got the same inheritable skill here that we saw on Drachmon. The thing is, once again, and again, we're not ignoring the cost, we're not ignoring the requirements, we've still got to do things in the correct way, but the big difference here is we can digivolve from the trash. Which means that I don't have to muck about having the right cards in my trash. That is a very, very big deal. This is a very good thing. I like it. It's not terribly flashy, but it's consistent and it's going to make your deck work better. And quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, what else do you really want? That seems like it's going to be pretty gosh darn good for me. Count me in, quite frankly. Count me in. Now, Matadramon here. Seven cost to play normally, three cost to digivolve, 7,000 power, level 5. All fairly standard, that is exactly what we would expect from a level 5. And what we've got here is, when you are attacking, you may trash one card with undead or dark animal in its traits to have this Digimon gain 3,000 power for the turn. So again, you're trashing from your hand, you're choosing what you trash, this is all very good, all very lovely. And also, you're going up to 10,000 power. Now, 10,000 power isn't phenomenal for a level 5. We've seen it before. But it's about as high as level 5s tend to get. It doesn't put you online with level 6s. So if you're attacking the stack and a level 6 comes out, you're still expecting to be deleted. Which is a little bit sad. But it means that only really tough level 5s or level 6s will be able to delete you if they come up as security cards. And actually, I'm kind of alright with that, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds alright by me. And then on your turn, when this Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon card from your trash, reduce the Digivolution cost by 1. Because remember that both Drachmon and Sanglutmon here, they Digivolved as inheritable skills. So it wasn't Drachmon Digivolving, and it wasn't saying Lutmon Digivolving, it was the card that has Digivolved from it Digivolving. So, Matstramon here should be Digivolving from the trash, either with Drachmon or Sang Lutmon. Of course, we do need to point out that because they're both inheritable skills, there is an argument you don't need both of them. I'm going to leave that one up to you, ladies and gentlemen. But the point is that here, when you Digivolve, you reduce the cost by one. So not only are you Digivolving from the trash, good thing, easier to get, you know, if you can choose cards in your trash or in your hand, you're going to have what you want far more often than if they've got to be in your hand. But now you're reducing the cost by one as well. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, that sounds pretty good to me. And then moving up into the level 6, I did promise you a big level 6. It's Grand Dracomon here. And we've got a 12 cost to play normally, 4 cost to digivolve, 12,000 power. 
all slightly higher than we would generally expect. And when Digivolving, you may play a level 3 purple Digimon from your trash without paying its memory cost. Cool. That's nice. And look, th this is purple, right? We've seen this before. We have seen plenty of Digimon before that can play purple, especially level 3, from the trash. The difference here, and it is a huge difference, this lets you get play skills. The rule is very simple. If you don't get play skills, it tells you very simply on the card that you don't get play skills. So going back to the very beginning of purple, back in BT2 or Booster 1.0, we had Metal Garurumon and we had Piedmon. And Metal Garurumon lets you play a purple level free from your trash without paying its memory cost when attacking. But you don't get the play skills. And Piedmon lets you play two level four or lower when you play, but you don't get any play skills. This is only Digivolving. This is only a one-shot deal. It's not an every turn thing, and that's very sad, etc. But you get to play one and you get the play skill. So the Labramon from BT4 that lets you draw a card. Now I'm getting a Digimon in play for free, and I'm drawing a card at the same point. That seems like a handy advantage. Seems like the kind of thing I might be wanting to do. Or, you know, the Drachmon that we've just talked about here, which then will let you draw and discard. These are all options. It's a good Digivolution skill. It's sad that it's a one-time thing when you Digivolve. Of course it is. But that doesn't mean it's not very, very cool when you did evolve. And then at the end of your attack, once per turn, one of your other Digimon may did evolve into a Digimon card with Undead or Dark Animal from your trash without paying its memory cost. So you know how I've just told you that this first skill that lets you play Digimon for free when you did evolve is really good, and it is, incidentally, that's true. Well, now... I also get to Digivolve for free at the end of my attack. Now, it is end of attack, not end of turn, so you do need to attack. You've got to actually be attacking. But 12,000 power puts you at a pretty hefty level 6. Attacking should be fine. And then you get to Digivolve one of your Digimon for free. And because you're Digivolving from the trash, like I've been telling you all video, it is more likely that you will be in a position where you've actually got the cards in your trash to evolve into, I love this. And it's any of your Digimon. Bearing in mind, you can also Digivolve from the trash normally when you're attacking because of those other inheritable skills. I just love this. I think this is really, really good. It's consistency coming out of the wazoo combined with playing cards for free. I mean, you put that together and we've got a very nice card indeed. And just very quickly to finish off, we've got Eye of the Gorgon. It's an option card that clearly fits in here. We've got an 8 cost to play, so man, it better be good. Delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. If a Digimon is deleted by this effect, you may play one level 3 purple Digimon from your trash without playing its memory cost, but you don't get the on-play skills. Sorry, that is, you don't get the on-play and that's a bit sad. And this is phenomenal. And again, as a security card, it does this just without paying any memory. And clearly, this is one you're hoping comes out of your security. And I like this, but it's awkward. I love being able to delete anything. And I love playing a level 3 for free. But I don't love that it's got to be an unsuspended Digimon. Now, remember, the rule is you can only attack suspended Digimon. So basically, either your opponent has a suspended Digimon you can attack and delete it. Or they have an unsuspended Digimon, and you can delete it using this option card. Either way, this gives you a nice option. <laughs> Pun not intended, but, you know, not unappreciated. But the fact of the matter is, because it's only unsuspended Digimon, especially when it comes out of the security and you can't time it, it's great. But there are times it might not get the Digimon you want, and that's a bit sad. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you need to know, that's the new cards, and now it's over to you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Which of these cards do you like? Which of these are you excited about? Do you think that Grand Dracomon is as good as I think it is? Because I really do think that's a very, very nice new card. Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice!
And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.